Hello everyone, I am Hema Gauri, working as an assistant professor in Department of CSE and IT in Karpakam Academy of Higher Education. Software Defined Network. This course may take 8 lecture series and each will take 10 to 15 minutes. Topics to be focused in this lecture series are what and why software defined networking, software defined networking architecture, rule placement with open flow, we are going to see it as a two sessions, and control placement, network virtualization, SDN application, and SDN security. In recent years, software defined networking has gained a lot of attention in IT and research field. In this video, I am going to build you on the concept of SDN by comparing it with the traditional network. Prerequisites for the software defined networks is you should have the basic networking concepts and you should know the structure and functions of networking elements such as a router and switch. Let us start our session very quickly. The table of contents. Today we would be covering SDN history, traditional network, limitation of traditional networks, what is software defined network and why we need software defined network. First we will see the history of network. The term network was introduced during 1960. Network means connection or interconnection of devices. During this period, mainframe computer plays a major role. The early 1970 computer networks was developed based on the Ethernet technology and Ethernet technology started to rise. In 1980, Ethernet was standardized and client-server architecture came into picture while mainframe computing environment started to decline. In 1990, high-speed network was introduced by using full duplex ethernet. The next we are going to see evolution of SDN. In 2006 at Stanford University a team proposes a clean state security architecture to control security policies in a centralized manner instead of doing it at edges. In 2008 the idea of software defined network is originated from OpenFlow project. In 2009, Stanford University publishes OpenFlow version 1 specifications. In March 2011, Open Networking Foundation was formed and in October 2011, first conference was conducted for open networking and many industries are announced to incorporate. The industries like Cisco, Jennifer, like that, they are asked to incorporate with that. In traditional way, networking functionality is mainly implemented using dedicated appliances. In this case, dedicated appliances refers to one or multiple switches or routers. The basic functions of routers are receiving the packets, checking the routing table and forwarding the packets out. This function are done by control plane and data plane of the router. Let us see the traditional way of networking. When a man calling to his wife through Skype call, the switch or the router checking the receiver IP address in the routing table. Once it finds the IP address, the call gets connected to his wife. Now the packet started to transfer. After some time, the router cannot process the incoming packet because of traffic. Then the path gets blocked and the call gets disconnected. Data communication is growing day by day and this growth brings the need of new technologies. For example, take a scenario when a new network devices are added to the existing network, reconfiguration is required. In traditional network, reconfiguration is done manually. As when the network size grows, it becomes extremely difficult to manage the huge network infrastructure. To address this issue, the network changes should be maintained and updated dynamically. This is done by SDN. Now we are going to see what software defined network is. It is a new approach to design, build and manage networks. SDN is nothing but physically separating the control plane from the data plane. A single control plane controls several forwarding planes. Control plane acts as a brain or a decision maker while transferring the packets. It is generally a software based controller. Data plane acts as a forwarder in a dedicated hardware. SDN allows network administrator to quickly and easily manage network services from a centralized location without configure the router or a switch manually. The main benefits of centralizing the control plane is allowing the forward decision to be merged globally across the SDN domain rather than at each hop. Now we will see what control plane and data plane is. I have used this picture to make you to understand the function of data plane and control plane. This picture contains 
track controller and railway track. The track can be one or n number of tracks. Here the track controller who actually controls and decides the track in which the train should move. In similar way, the control plane decides in which path the packet should travel. The train moves in the railway track which is decided by the track controller. Here the railway track works like a data plane. The data plane forwards the packet in the path decided by the control plane. The track controller is work like a control plane and the railway track works like a data plane. Why we need STN? In STN, one to many relationships exist to control and manage thousand number of devices with a single command. It enables centralized management of networking devices. It is termed as orchestration. Network control is directly programmable because it is decoupled from forwarding functions. Administrator can dynamically adjust network-wide traffic flow to meet the changing needs, so it is agile in nature. Network intelligence is logically managed centrally. This is the most awesome thing about the STN, that is abstraction is the most awesome thing about the STN. The centralized controller abstracts the network so any changes to be made can be done in one location, that is at controller. You don't have to bother about the underlying data planes. Abstraction derives virtualization. Without really knowing where and what my resources are, I am able to get my things done. It can be configured programmatically. It helps in automation of networking devices. It offers flexibility, scalability and efficiency. It is widely used by social networking websites like Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, etc. and in large database search engines like Google, Yahoo, Ask, etc. Now we come to the end of our today's session. I hope you would understand the basic concept of SDN, how it differs from traditional way and the need of SDN in current networking. Thank you.